All right, what is up, everybody? It's Thunder, and I got some destiny here for you guys today. Going to be uploading a weekly Nightfall Strike. Me and my boy Nuke, I'm going to tag team this bitch. And here's the stat modifiers for the Nightfall Strike. Epic, Light Switch, Angry, Solar Burn, and Nightfall, which basically means you're going to be playing a bunch of badass bots, really aggressive, that can one-hit kill you with the knife. And if Nightfall, if you die, you don't come back. Solar Burn is just the extra uh, elemental damage type, which applies to every Nightfall, which you can do once a week. And you get a chance of getting some pretty cool shit. Some pretty good loot at the end of it, so... Alright, let's get into the build, man. Uh, first of all, this is going to be a solar burn strike, so... Something like this, corrective measure, which does void damage, yeah. I'll swap that out. So we're going to be going as the Sunsinger. Sunsinger does uh, solar damage, and these are my weapons. The Vision of Confluence, Praetorian Foil. Two raid weapons that I got, they both do solar damage. And of course, the Galahorn, man. Mmm! Best exotic weapon in the game, in my opinion. Just... It just smashes everything. This is the gear I'm going to be using. And I sure am glad you guys told me to hang on to that heart of the Praxic Fire. Because it is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. Not only does it look good, but it's just sick. Uh, so there you go. This is the loadout, fellas. That I'm going to be rolling with. And uh, yeah, I got the Justicar's boots. I have history. That's what I got for a band. I played the raid last night. And I got the diamond band for the Warlock. Can't remember what the name of it is, but... I'm all blinged out with my Warlock now. I'm really glad I made an alt character. Uh, it only took me about a week to get this guy to level 28. Had a bunch of my buddies uh, power level me through the hard missions. So really appreciate that, guys. Thank you so much. And right when you spawn in here on the Ishtar Sink in Venus, I like taking these guys out because they have a chance, these little Vex, because the Vex are fighting with the Fallen. And you can pick these guys off and pick up some like heavy ammo or maybe some Engrams, some legendary Engrams. I mean, who knows? You might get lucky. Uh, I just like farming these guys to see what they drop. And after you make your way through this little area right here, you're going to go into your first darkness zone. And the darkness zone is if you die, you do not respawn. It's over. So you kind of got to be careful. So I'm going to make my way to the darkness zone. My boy Nukem already scouted the way. He's up ahead waiting for me. And here we go. Respawn restricted. You got to be careful. Got to play it safe. You really got to be careful. And here are these shanks, man. These flame shanks. Shanks with the flame shield. I can't stand these things, man. They're annoying. And let me ask you this. Bungie. Why do shanks have flame shields? They're robots. Shouldn't they have arc shields? I don't, I don't understand why robots have flame shields. It don't make any sense, but whatever. And I'll tell you what, man. I am lucky that this nightfall strike is arc burn. I mean, solar burn damage and not arc burn. Because these vandals would be tearing me up right now. I wouldn't even be able to make it out. Oh, shit. Nukem's down. I got you, Nukem. Don't worry, bro. I got you. I got you, baby. Get up. Get up. There we go. All right. So Nukem's back on his feet. And this Vision of Confluence, now look, Destiny's got a shit ton of weapons, right? But honestly, the Vision of Confluence, uh, my favorite by far, my favorite scout rifle. I think, oh, damn, Nukem, you down again? Get up, son. Uh, the Vision of Confluence is the best scout rifle in the game. I don't know if you guys think there's a better, I know some people might be saying, Nah, the Mighty Multi-Tool. I don't know, maybe the Mighty Multi-Tool is better since I got that buff. I don't know. I haven't really used it much, but Vision of Confluence, it, it's just amazing. I love it. So I get the Praetorian Foil out now. This is a Raid Fusion Rifle. Got this playing the Raid, of course. And Raiding is fun. Did the Raid last night and didn't get shit. I got some Shards and I got some goddamn Chatter White. I always get Chatter White with the Raid, but I hate the Chatter White, man. Please, Bungie, stop giving me Chatter White, please. So anyway, I'm trying to take these dudes over here. And like I said, man, if this was Arc Burn damage, I would be poof. I would probably wouldn't be able to do this with two people. I'd probably need three. And I'd have to play it a whole heck of a lot more cautiously than I am now. Kind of rushing these guys. And there you go. Me and Nukem are just clearing them out. And I'm playing as a Sun Singer Warlock. Sun Singer is great. Ooh, gold chest. I'll take that shit. What'd I get? Oh, I got a sniper rifle. All right, whatever. Uh, playing as a Sun Singer Warlock is great when you're doing these nightfall strikes. Or if you die, you don't come back. Damn, I must have forgot to put my Air Jordans on. Because uh, if you die, you could use the Sun Singer to revive. You could use uh, Radiance to revive from beyond the grave. Oh, there's a captain. Come on, Captain. Oh, what the hell? Who was that? Nuka missed him with the RPG. And throwing some nades with the Warlock. Oh, yeah, guys. And I know Nova Bomb is for Warlock now. In my, one of my other Destiny uploads. I thought it was for the Titan. My bad, man. I know the Titan uses a golden gun and not the Nova Bomb, right? My bad. Oh, but anyway. Oh, Unstoppable. That's what's up, baby. So I get the Unstoppable achievement, which is, I think, 9,000 score without dying. And, oh, I max out my Warlock. Uh, and I got a nice little achievement right here. Ooh, there you go. Warlock Mastery. And I got a blue Ingram. So I could go see my boy Master Rahul. 
The Cryptarch himself, always chilling in the tower with that little iPad. You know he's looking at porn and shit on that thing. All right, so here we go. We <laughs> got my uh, Gift of the Sun. Ooh, I can throw two grenades now. All right, I'm loving it. Twice the cheese. Let's go. All right, so we're going to fast forward up here. My boy Nukem went off ahead of me while I was fucking around with my skill tree, and he wound up dying like a noob. <laughs> I'm going to take out these damn shanks again. And I got a little welcoming party up here waiting for me. Going to try and take him out with my two grenades. Can't remember what grenades I'm using, but it looks like these guys all dodged them. And once again, don't have my Jordans on. Couldn't make that jump. And these dudes are coming after me. Uh-oh. Watch out now, Thunder. Watch out, baby. Come on, get them. Ooh. Get the Praetorian foil. These guys got them damn arc shields. Ooh, I wish I had my uh, Fatebringer. My Fatebringer hand cannon. That probably would have been a good combo. The Fatebringer and the Praetorian foil would take these guys out like no sweat. But since I went all out with the fire solar damage... I don't have any uh, arc damage to take out these shields. Pick up the fallen leaders uh, challenge right there. Oh, I got bitch max sun, but check it out. I got that Sunsinger cheese. This is why the Sunsinger is what you want to roll with when you're doing these missions, man. Look at that. <laughs> Sunsinger cheese got right back up and made the jump this time. <laughs> Sunsinger is amazing. I love it. The Warlock is so much fun to play. Look at Ooh, there you go, baby. Just shaking that Warlock ass. And uh, a lot of you guys have been asking, oh, Nukem, come on, man, get up. You're down again, bro. <laughs> get up, son. All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking me, Thunder, should I get Destiny for Christmas or whatever your holiday is you celebrate this year? And the answer is yes. Dude, this is game of the year. Destiny really is game of the year material. It's, uh, it's the only game I've really been playing. You guys know I haven't been playing COD much. Uh, it's, just, it's just not happening, dude. Just I have... There's not one cell in my body that wants to play Call of Duty right now. I'm just playing Destiny, enjoying this game so much. Uh, definitely get this game for Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate this year. It, this, this game should be at the top of your list. It's amazing. So anyway, I'm using my Gallahorn right here. Ooh, is that another Engram? Yes, it is. It's another Sniper Engram. Damn, what's up with all the Sniper Engrams I keep getting, man? I swear to God, Vondahar's trolling me somehow. Even though he's got nothing to do with this game, he's still trolling me. Still trolling me with the damn snipers. So I pick up some more heavy ammo and gonna rush back in here. Looks like Nukem already cleared this area out. But I'm just gonna make sure. Floating around. Surveying the scene. Yep, this area is clear. Gonna move on down. And looks like we got. Oh yeah, baby. Looks like we got some floating harpies up here. Some harpy zealots. Get on, baby. Even though I got a flame weapon, I still took your arc shield out. No sweat. This Praetorian foil, man. I think it's the best. Fusion rifle in the game. Now, I know the Plan C just got buffed. Actually, all the exotics got buffed. And I think that's pretty awesome because exotic weapons should be amazing. There's, there's, in this game, there's too many legendary weapons that are just as good as exotics. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, shit. Them damn Alex Hobgoblin, man. FaZe Hobgoblin just took me out. He quick scoped me from across the map. And look at Nukem. So clutch. All right, so Nukem, he pays me back for all them revives. He's got a tight and he puts up his bubble. Gets me right back up on my feet. Didn't have my Sunsinger cheese yet, so I couldn't self-res. And, man, these big ass, what, are they, what is that? Is that a Praetorian? Oh, no, it's a uh, Minotaur. These Minotaurs are pain in the ass, man. I'm telling you. Big dick man Dingoes. He's picking it up, letting it flop on you. All right, so I get him back up. How many revives is that now, Nukem? Me, whenever me and Nukem play, we always, like, have a competition, see who could die the least. <laughs> it's pretty fun. And I got my I got my super now. I got my sun singer, so I don't even, I don't even have to worry about dying right now, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna try and take out this damn hobgoblin. All right, hobgoblin's down. All right, Nukem, let's clear out the rest of these vex and get the hell out of here. All right, here we go. All right, so we cleared this area out. And when you're playing this, you could just speed run through all this shit, but uh, it's more fun killing stuff than speed running. I don't know. I, Sometimes speed running's good, and sometimes you just want to stay and smash on everything. So, all right, so we clear this area, getting ready to go to the final area where we're going to meet the Nexus Mine. And I'm whipping out my Gallahorn, so here we go, baby. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. There's a part right here where you're really going to want to have a Gallahorn or a Super, because you can make a big, as my boy Chris Move would say. <laughs> ready for this one, fellas? You can make a big splash. <laughs> <laughs> just take all those dudes out and here we go there you go all those uh vex just dead see ya there's a whole army of them they're not there anymore they get annihilated reload the galahorn and we're gonna drop to face the device of mind and hopefully get something pretty cool 
at the end of this nightfall. Because up till now, all I've been getting is damn sniper Ingrams. There's the Nexus right there, man. There's the Nexus mine. We gotta take him out. But before we do that, we gotta jump way the fuck down here. When you jump down here, man, it's always good to do a control jump. Because if you just fall... Oh, shit, what the hell? Yeah, see? If you just fall, you lose a lot of your health. And in some instances, you might even die. Now, before the Nexus uh, comes down, you gotta kill all these damn Minotaurs. And again, man, these Minotaurs are like the Terminators of Destiny. They do a lot of damage. Uh, they take a lot of damage, man. They're just a pain in the ass. But my Galahorn with the Wolfpack rounds makes quick work out of them, dude. And this is why the Galahorn is so great. Because it just annihilates bosses, pain in the ass enemies. Oh, I just got beasted. Oh, get back up. There we go. <laughs> get back up with my Sunsinger cheese. And thanks to my heart, the Praxic Fire, I could just keep spamming grenades at these guys and just shit on them. Yeah, I love it. I love this chest piece. My boy Nukem's down again. Don't worry, Nukem, I got you. And I got my Praetorian foil. Man, these guys just keep teleporting, which makes them even more annoying. So they do a lot of damage. They can take a lot of damage, and they can teleport, and they can vanish on you. Just a really annoying, but, um, you know, challenging. I I'm glad they're this hard to kill, because it makes it more fun. It really does. It I love challenges in a PvE. It really is fun. <laughs> I, I love it. So I'm going to try and sneak back over here and get Nukem up. And luckily, those uh, Minotaurs don't do any solar damage because this shit would be over right now. I think they do void damage. And oh shit, here comes another Minotaur. He looks he looks pissed. I'm going to get the hell out of here, man. I'm going to get the hell out of here. All right, so Nukem's telling me about some cheese spot he needs me to get into. And you know, you know with Destiny, everyone's got their cheese spots they use to fight bosses. So Nukem's telling me to jump up on some ledge. Uh, Nukem's up there right now. I'm like, man, fuck the cheese spot. I'm just gonna run around and beast these dudes. Let's go. Oh man, this guy got annihilated. Alright, here we go. So the Minotaurs are all the dead, Nexus. finally. And the Nexus. It's opening. Alright, so here comes the Nexus. Nukem's up in his cheese spot someplace. But I'm gonna stay on the ground, try and own this guy. Got the Galahorn. Bam! Get on, baby! Wolfpack rounds, two Galahorn shots, spam some nades. I think I got that upgrade where I can throw two grenades now, which is great. My vision of confluence, I'm going to try and go for crits. And some more Vex spawn in right here. Now, I'm almost dead, man. Look at this. I'm just barely hanging on. Almost dead. <laughs> Trying to regen some health, take some cover, take out these Vex. Come on, baby. And, and look, man, because of the solar burn and all I'm using is solar weapon. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. These, oh, man. Goblin Zealot. With a slap rifle. See? The Zealot slap rifle. And there's Nukem up in the cheese spot. He's up in the cheese spot. <laughs> the Zealot slap rifle does um, solar damage. So those guys can really do a lot of... Uh, those dudes can really fuck you up. And look, man, look at those feet. Damn, Nukem. <laughs> Nukem generating shitting out orbs. And Nukem gets me back up. Clutch revive for Nukem. Up in the cheese spot. Comes down to revive me. I'm awful happy about it. And oh, these guys are coming at me again. I gotta be careful because these guys got that slap rifle with the solar damage. And, oh, they're doing solar damage, too. Oh, shit. These damn harpies. There you go. I got my flame shield. And this is just intense right here, man. These guys are on me. <laughs> These guys are on me. I don't have my sun singer yet. My, uh, my, my radiance so I can revive from beyond the grave. Yeah, I'm just using the Praetorian foil to try and take these guys out the best I can. And, oh, he's got a shield up. Can't hit him. I'm just going to try and help nuke him out. Take these fucking goblins out. These harpies. There you go. Vision of Confluence for the win, baby. All right, now I'm just going to try and hit the Vex mine for crits. A divisive mine. And, oh, I got my super, baby. Yeah, I got that Sunsinker cheese. There's a whole bunch of guys over here. Take them out. I don't know where Nukem's at. Nukem's, you know, I guarantee he's someplace cheesy. You know Nukem, he knows all those cheese spots. And get, get the Praetorian foil right here. Uh-oh, Nukem's down. <laughs> I'm going to get it back up. All right. Oh, I just got owned. But I'm not going to use my Radiance. Don't want to waste it. Nukem's right there. He gets me up. You got to play smart in this Nightfall, man. If you don't have to use your Radiance, don't. But right here, it looks like I have to use it. Because I don't think Nukem's going to be able to get me. Yeah, Nukem's getting annihilated. Nukem's trying to get into another one of his cheese spots. So I'm just going to get back up. Fuck it. And look at this, man. Just getting swarmed on. The Goblin Swarm. Take him out with my grenades, though. And hard the Praxic Fire. Just doing work right now. I'm just spamming Warlock Nades. And it's good to be the one giving the Warlock Nade spam instead of receiving the Warlock Nade spam like I do in PvP. Oh my god. 
When I'm playing Warlocks in PvP, it's just raining Warlock nades everywhere. Fucking crazy. So I'm going to try and take this dude out again with some Galahorn. I don't want to waste my shell, though. I want to make sure I get a perfect Galahorn shot with the Wolfpack rounds. Because this guy's almost done. He's almost dead. He has very little health left. And he's just spamming me now. Uh, he wants me bad. He's spamming me, spamming me, spamming me. Trying to get some shots in with my vision of confluence. And there you go. There's the perfect shot with the Galahorn. But he still isn't dead. Damn it. Thought that would be enough. And I'm getting swarmed. Nukem's down. Oh, my God. This ain't looking good, man. This is not looking good. Oh, shit. These dudes are all over the place. Throw some grenades. And... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm oh, shit. This ain't good. This ain't good. Come on, baby. Stay alive. Stay alive, Thunder. Well, we're going to drop this fool. We're going to drop him. Trying to get some crit shot. Yeah! I took him out, baby. Clutching it. Woo! <laughs> so we took out the Vex mine. Man, that was nuts. All right. I almost died. <laughs> I almost died right there. So a clutch weekly nightfall strike victory. And should we get Nukem up? Nukem, you are down again. Come on, man. Should we revive Nukem? Nah. We're going to let him stay right there. <laughs> you stay right there, Nukem. Oh, shit. That was fun, man. I love this game. <laughs> I'm just messing with Nukem right now. Oh, good, bro. Teabag in his orb. Oh, yeah, I went there. Yep, I went there. But that's not even enough, man. That's not even enough. Let's throw some nades at him. <laughs> so, Destiny, Weekly Nightfall Strike. Uh, Two-man team. Uh, I highly recommend doing this with three guys. Doing it with two could be a little tricky. And let's see what I got for reward. Oh, my God. Another sniper. You know, Vondahar's definitely trolling me somehow, man. You know Vondahar plays Destiny all the time. Probably knows everybody over there at Bungie. It's like, yeah, when Thunder plays, just give him nothing but snipers. Yeah, fuck that guy. And look at this dude. Nukem got some strange coins and all I got was a damn... Oh, actually, it's a pretty decent sniper. No, actually, no, it isn't. Ah, whatever. I already got the Icebreaker and the, Prato and the uh, Praetith uh, Revenge. I'm all set. I don't even really use snipers that much anyway. But another cool thing about beating the Weekly Nightfall Strikers, guys, is now I got that flaming head above. That flame above my head. That's, what, that's how you get the flame above your head effect. You got to beat the Weekly Nightfall Strike. And it gives you uh, an XP buff. So everything you do, you get a percentage of XP extra throughout the week, which is really, really cool. And anyway, all right, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you all back on the next one. Right.